Deaf, deaf, eh, eh. That EA is not E this time, um, it's eh. Deaf, eh, deaf, bed, red, deaf. That is the middle, the middle sound there. Deficiency, deficiency, I, deficiency. That CI is um, a sh sound now. Deficiency, deficiency. That, that whole CIE is a sh sound. Deficiency, deficiency. Um, you have an iron deficiency. I'm sorry, gotta eat more, I don't know, meat, something. Dehydrated, dehydrated, dehydrated. That's pretty straightforward. That T in the middle, it's usually more of a soft sound. Dehydrated, almost a D sound. Dehydrated. If you say dehydrated, they'll understand you. It'll be fine. They'll just think you're very proper, very prim and proper, and that you're really concerned about your pronunciation, which is fine. Dehydrated or dehydrated, dehydrated. Dementia, dementia accent on the middle one and that um, e in the middle is more of an i, i, almost like a short i. Dementia and that first e is more like a d, d, dementia, dementia. Could be an i too. Um, dementia, you could say it with a full-on hard e, long e. Dementia, 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 dementia. Both are acceptable. Um, just don't do dementia. That won't fly. Don't ask me why. I just know <laughs> certain lazy vowels are acceptable and others you just don't hear and therefore it will stand out like a sore thumb. I wonder why that's a phrase. Maybe you don't know that phrase. Uh, stand out like a sore thumb. I don't know why it's a sore thumb, but it means it's going to be very noticeable. People will notice it right away. Stand out like a sore thumb. Um, dementia or dementia, both are fine. Dementia, no. Dementia, no. Dementia. That's what it is. And again, the T-I is a sh, S-H sound. Sh, sh, dementia. It is hard seeing your loved one uh, suffer from dementia, which I know experienced that, unfortunately. Diabetes. Um, diabetes, diabetes, got the long E in the middle there, diabetes. So the IA is pronounced separately, IA, IA. And it's not IA, it's not IA, it's IA, like a short U, ah. Uh. I don't know why. Dia, dia, diabetes. So those other two E's are long, diabetes, with a Z on the end, not an S. Um, don't say diabetes, don't say diabetes, dia uh, yeah, diabetes, don't say diabetes, diabetes. Yeah, I mean, there are no hard and fast rules um, with the vowels, unfortunately. There are rules, but then there are so many um, exceptions. There, I mean, English is just full of exceptions. And really, it's the exceptions that are going to make you stand out as not a native speaker. Native speakers, they grew up speaking it. They heard it their whole life. They know exactly what's okay to say and what's not okay to say. They just, they just know it, right? And if you're learning a new language, you, have to, you don't know that. You're going by the rules of the language that you used, and you don't know all the exceptions. And so that can be hard. You just have to memorize them, right? There was one the other day I learned uh, about French because I studied French for years and I've never been really fluent as a speaker. Um, but I was listening to this show and they kept saying, second, second, for second. And I'm like, why are they pronouncing that with a G? It's spelled with a C. And then I finally Googled it and sure enough, that's that's just what you do. You pronounce it with a, with a G sound, second. Um, so who knows? I'm, I'm trying to show empathy, saying that I understand. And yet, you still have to learn it if you want to sound natural. <laughs> so, uh, that was diabetes. Uh, diagnosis. 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 
So that G and then the N, they're quick together, but they're there. Diagnosis. Diagnosis. Discomfort. Do you have any discomfort? Come. Comfort. Come. You know what? Discomfort. When you say discomfort, uh, that M isn't very strong in the middle. Discomfort. Discomfort. Because if you try to do it, it's awkward. Watch. Discomfort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and in English, we're a little bit lazy that way. We don't want to go umph, umph. So I've noticed my teeth go directly to my to my lip. Discomfort, discomfort, com, It's almost like a combination mf all in one. Discomfort, and it's er instead of that or sound. It's not discomfort. Are you experiencing discomfort? That would stick out like a sore throat. Discomfort, discomfort, discomfort. Are you experiencing discomfort? Let me help you. Discomfort. All right. Disease. Um, both of those S's are pronounced with a Z sound. Disease. That E-A is an E, E, E sound. Disease. Disease. Um, I'm sorry you have a dread disease. Disease. And the last E is silent. Okay. Dislocated. Dislocated. Um, the emphasis on, is on the low. Dislocated. 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 And in that one, that T, you can make it a strong T. Dislocated. Or you can make it sort of a soft D. Dislocated. Um, but don't leave it out altogether. 